Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Burt. Today we're going to make some simple machines and find out a little bit about how they work. A simple machine is a tool that people use to make lifting things or moving things easier. Even very big and complicated machines like your refrigerator or your parents' car have little simple machines inside them. Today we're going to make three simple machines out of things from around the house. I'm using things I found in my house. You and your parents might be able to find similar things in your house. Use your imagination when you're looking for things to make your own simple machines from. Let's get started. Our first simple machine is called a lever. A lever has two parts, a rod and a fulcrum. These may sound like funny names. Engineers sometimes give things funny names. An engineer is someone who builds machines. I'm using a ruler as a rod and a metal block as a fulcrum. They go together like this. If you use your imagination, you might think that this looks like a teeter-totter. The two parts of a lever might also be connected like this. See, it works the same way. A lever helps us move or lift something that's very heavy. If I put these wooden blocks on my lever, you notice how it makes this end drop. But I can use one finger on this end of the lever to lift the blocks up, although they feel very heavy. Do you remember the funny name of our block? That's right, the fulcrum. If I move the fulcrum closer to a box like this, it makes it easier to lift up with one finger. And if I move the fulcrum further away, oh, it makes it very hard to lift up. People can use very long levers to lift very heavy things. Now let's build our second simple machine. If I set up a ruler in wooden blocks like this, it might look like a ramp to you. You might have a ramp at your school that you can use instead of the stairs. Engineers have a funny name for ramp. It's called an inclined plane. Let's pretend this plastic box is really a big box full of heavy dishes and we need to get it from here down onto the ground but we don't want to drop it because the dishes are very heavy and they might break instead of trying to lift it down we can slide it down the inclined plane and that's a lot easier and it's safer we won't break the dishes that way we can also slide things up an inclined plane to get them from the ground up to a higher place. Maybe you can find things around your house to make your own inclined plane out of. Using a ramp, or do you remember the funny name that engineers call ramps? That's right, an inclined plane. Using an inclined plane, we can move things from a higher level to a lower level much easier. Can you think of places where you've seen ramps or inclined planes? Our next simple machine is called a wheel. We see wheels around us every day. They are on toys and bicycles and even on your school bus. Wheels are another kind of simple machine that make it easier to move heavy things around. There are two parts to this simple machine, the wheel itself and an axle. I found some plastic lids around my house and I stuck them together like this with some tape. I'm using a pencil like you might have as an axle. You can put them together like this. Now we have our wheels and an axle. 
the wheels can spin around the axle. A long time ago, people realized that they could use wheels on a cart or a wheelbarrow to move things around a lot easier than carrying it. What types of wheels do you see in your house? Do you have toys with wheels on them? There are simple machines all around us every day. They might be very small or very big, and they can be parts of very big and very complicated machines. Keep your eyes open and look all around your house with the help of your parents and see what simple machines you can find. Goodbye now and have fun building your own simple machines.